make a thousand dollars in one day, I applied for a job where I um, was chained to a table and whipped and filmed. It was a uh, degrading, but it was a lot of money in a short time, so it was worth it. something to confess. So a little while back to my friend Jackson's house and uh, me and this girl accidentally kind of broke his desk and um, I didn't mean to and uh, anyways we were all kind of drunk and he was kind of mad and uh, I told him I'd, I'd pay him back for the desk but but in reality, because I could have fixed it myself, I don't actually plan on ever paying him back. So, and if you're seeing this now, there you go. Peace. I have a crush on my politics professor. <laughs> oh, have you heard about the new corduroy pillows they're making? Yeah, it's all in the news. They're making headlines. Uh, recording. There we go. Nice. Uh, okay, confession. <clears throat> Alright, my brother, I had me off one day and he didn't move his truck so, uh, so I can sell my car because I have this cherry spot back home and I had to uh, sell items. So what I did was actually I took a shit in his, uh, in his sink because I knew he was going to have to clean it. Yeah, so me off, expect some in your f***ing mouth or your sink. All right. Once, when I was seven, I bit a nun. To confess that anything in the world, it would probably be about how awesome SCTV is, and that just it's the greatest, greatest place in the world, and it's a place where people can be free to do as they please and do as they want. Also, if you've ever heard of a little band called Too Drunk to Funk, check them out. They're pretty sweet. Also, let's colonize the moon. Give guns to everyone. And I guess kill all the polar bears. Yeah, that's a good idea. Confession to my housemates. You know how your lighters always disappear off of the coffee table in the living room? It's because I take them, and I'm sorry about that. Um, if you want new ones, I will get you some. No, no, that, that's a lie. I have to confess to lying also. Anyway, sorry about that one. So, my roommate's really a bitch. And so today, this morning, I decided to lock her out on purpose. It was fabulous. <laughs> My housemate's laugh is the be most beautiful laugh I've ever heard. Sometimes, when I'm alone, I dance to Justin Timberlake in my room in my underwear. And then, I listen to Duran Duran. And I cry! <laughs> I find it very hypocritical that many students on this campus are both against corporate greed and for the saving of envir the environment. Ultimately, it will probably be corporate greed that saves the environment out of the need to either A, make a quick buck, or B, save themselves. If people have anything going for them, it's a cockroach like tenacity to save themselves. <laughs> I like to complain about how busy my schedule is, but as soon as it um, starts to get less busy, I feel the need to fill it up with more things. So I just dropped a class so that I could have more time for other classes, discovered that I have a hole in my schedule, and am going to fill it up. And in fact, I just got um, a recreation and sports guide to find more things to fill my schedule with so I can bitch to my friends some more about how busy I am. Did you ever see that part in Scanner? where the dude's head exploded. I am a lumberjack! Ah! 
Okay, it's recording. Hi, my name is M um, and I am confessing about something that's going on with my relationship right now. Um, I'm with this uh, girl named Lex. She's pretty cool, and um, in the past, I've um, I've been able to write a lot of love poetry really quick about something that I'm really feeling, and. I don't know, I haven't had the, she hasn't inspired me to write stuff, and I'm finding myself expressing my affection through getting her stuff, and I think that's just kind of, it kind of, kind of scares me that here I am using material items to express affection, and it's, I don't know, it just kind of scares me that... The, the, the passion isn't there, but I, I mean, hey, I shouldn't be surprised. It's it's not going to be there from the get-go, but just I hope it comes soon. That's all I got to say. Bye. I confess that I do not watch SCTV. So, student confessional, and I'm in here to confess the fact that I'm a severe procrastinator. I will wait about like two to three weeks of time to finish a project. And it's pretty lame, but that's who I am. Rape Prevention Education is an organization on campus that runs all year long, and we promote um, things like self-defense workshops, and um, rape crisis counseling, and also um, workshops and educational services for students on campus all year round. But April, like I said, is Rape Awareness Month, and so we have some specific events happening just in April. Um, for Rape Awareness Month. Three um, workshops will be going on on um, April 9th, Helping a Friend or Partner After Rape. April 15th, Rape Within the Queer Community. And then April 17th, Living Off Campus, Awareness About Rape. Um, so those events, um, I just rattled them off really quickly, but if you want more information, look at the Rape Prevention Education website or come to the Quarry Plaza where we will be tabling for for this for these events throughout um, the next few weeks. Two more things. One, um, on April 24th, there will be a film screening called um, Rape and War, Activists for Congolese Women. Um, to be announced where that'll be, but on Thursday, April 24th, come watch that film. Um, and lastly, Denim Day is happening on April 23rd in the Quarry Plaza. Come and make a t-shirt for free. Um, and paint um, and stencil on rape facts or um, statements about rape to raise awareness about rape. This is something that you can do to raise awareness about rape on campus. So come all day on April 23rd, Wednesday, um, to the Quarry Plaza to paint your t-shirt and for the next couple weeks you can come by and pick up a crane that we have made um, to help promote rape awareness. So do your part and come help end rape. Thanks so much. I must have no idea why I'm doing this. But I think I'm bored. I have a lab started two minutes ago. That's my confession. I am really bored and I should be in class, but I'm not. I must have other things to say. Come to the video game tournament. Shit, it'll be fun. It's on, it's on April 19th. I like dragons way too much. All right. That's my spiel. It wasn't really a spiel. So, my confession is going to be about um, how last night I went and saw the movie The Eleventh Hour, and this is going to be so hippy-dippy and just like absolutely Santa Cruz and I don't care, like, I absolutely agree with everything they said in that movie, and this isn't even, like, a matter of belief or, or anything like that, it's, it's factual, and I'm one of those really big, like, global warming advocates, and that's my lame old confession, is that I'm, I'm this big hippie, and <laughs> I think everybody should be, because, because the earth is something important, and we all need to be worried about it, and I think if everybody, like, really knew what was going on, we can save it. Everyone would do the right thing. People are good people. I really believe that. People are great people. Killed a man in Reno once. Put a, a bottle on his head. Tried to shoot it off. I missed. Killed two more men crossing the border from Texas into Mexico. It was a nasty sight. It's funny 
how things like that can happen, how how one day you could be with your wife and children, everything could be normal, and the next thing you know, your whole life's turned upside down, and the, and the fuzz are after you, monitoring your every step as you try and escape the country. I must go. I feel like I should still be a socialist, but like ever since reading Postmodern Condition, I just, I don't know, I don't know anymore. I didn't really understand Postmodern Condition, so I shouldn't be like too quick to judge, you know?